Sure guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a quick trick to use when remixing a house song. You can also apply this when remixing a song of any nature here on Air Force Studio. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you by remixing a song that I was um, sent by Siva. I was fortunate to be part of his remix package. Um, you guys can go check it out by following him on his um, social media pages for more updates on the music. Um, so basically the first thing you need to do before remixing any song you first need to listen to the full project of which I've already done but then I'm just gonna let you guys listen to it <laughs> So I hope from that you guys were able to see the direction of the song, determine the key elements of the song, the main sounds that actually drive the whole song. And that is what we're going to focus on when applying this trick of mine on how to remix a song. So basically you have to pick out the standing elements of the song, uh, which to me I feel that is the vocal chop. It's also the main melody, which is this, the vocal chop. And then the scenes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a separate template only using this sounds that I've um, highlighted over here. We're gonna create a separate FLP file that we're gonna use as a template um, with only these um, sounds. So to do this, I'm going to go to the melody pattern, go to the piano roll of our access that he used for the melody go to file export as midi and then we're just gonna name this melody we're gonna do this for all the key elements of the song um the nexus so this is just a synth so let's just export as midi see synth one and then this is gonna be synth two Synth 2 and then also I feel that we need to get the main cause that he used for the pet go to file export as MIDI pet so now we can go create our new separate file actually let me not save So now you can play around with the BPM, choose whatever BPM that you feel like. Let's just load a, a kick. That's just going to guide us. And then also a clap. All right, there we go. So now the first thing we're gonna do is add a pad. Let's go select a pad. Let's just stick with that. And then now we're gonna go to file, export, I mean import MIDI file. Import MIDI file, go to pad, then open, and there you have it. Your chord progression is now imported from the original FOP file to our template file. Now we're gonna import the synth. Let's go to Hammer plugin and find some nice plugged sounds. Then let's go to file import MIDI file synth one, and there you have it. And then 
go for another sound, a different one. And then file, import MIDI file, then synth 2. And there you have it. And then go to um, GMS, select a lead. Um, something we're going to use as a melody to export. I mean, import our melody MIDI file. So that's it guys this is just how we set up our template to work on while remixing the song rather than working on the original flp file we can rather create our own separate file choose our own bpm choose our own presets our different sounds but then still stick with the same chord progression same melody and same um the other key elements of the song so maybe one other last thing that I can show you guys is, let's say maybe you would like to temper around with the chord progression. Let's say you choose F4, you move the chords. As you can listen, it's no longer in tune. So what you need to do to make it in tune, you just focus on the root note of your new chords, that's F4. So now you're just going to move everything to F, select all we take it up to F and there you go go take this to F as well then take this to F as well so the root note is the lowest note Sounds too high, but that's just the idea on how to make everything in tune. Make sure that every sound shares the same root note. So you guys can play around with everything, but then still stick with the same chord progression, same melody, same synth, and then just keep the whole sounds that drive the actual song. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Cheers, guys. Catch you on my next video.